let's get to soy because a lot of people say I don't like soy. Okay, let's talk about the good things in soy. Phytoestrogens, remember those are the things that help prevent the, um, the breast cancers and the prostate cancers. They have folate, they have omega-3s, there's that good word again. Magnesium, vitamin E, uh, and they're a complete protein. So for someone that's a vegetarian or a, or a vegan, vegans are really strict. They need to have soy so that they can have complete protein. Because there are a lot of other sources that are not complete pro proteins. They lack certain amino acids that are important and, and required for life. They have potassium. Okay, so now that I've told you all the good reasons to have soy, let's talk about the forms of soy. There's tofu, that's the one that people know about and they don't like. So, but there's ways you can make tofu taste good. There's soy milk, and soy milk is actually sweeter than regular milk. Lower in calories, higher protein, and, and tastes much better. Um, and that's without the sugar. There's soy nuts, those are very good. Edamame, you can actually get that at, at restaurants now and, and in the grocery stores. Very tasty, again, better than potato chips. So there's a lot of different forms of soy. So if you don't like tofu because of the texture, you can have all these others and still get the same benefits. So, you need to eat at least 15 grams of soy protein a day, if you can. It's equivalent to 30 to 50 isoflavones. So those are the good guys. The only other thing that has isoflavones is red wine. Positive oil in preventing heart disease, cancer, osteoporosis. So people that are at risk for osteoporosis, any type of soy will help them and the full-blown menopausal and menstrual symptom. One half cup of tofu, 18 to 20 grams of protein. Now you can substitute all these other things, edamame, soy milk, and all that. A lot of calcium, quite a lot of iron, 13 milligrams, which is 87% of women's and 130% of men's RDA. 